It's really, really weird because at first, when I first discovered the audition and the scenes, I didn't really know what the film was about. I only knew about Candice May, my character, and two scenes that didn't really tell the bigger picture of, of what, what the actual film was about. When I then got the part and actually read the full script, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> and it's gonna be such a challenge. And I wanted something that would challenge me on my first ever movie simply because I need it for myself. I need, I, I always like to, to do things that are out of my comfort zone, uh, that allow me to really think and work really hard. And um, it just, it's written so beautifully by Dion Edwards. It's directed so beautifully. And you know, it, you know, the, the the actual red dress is going to mean something to everyone that watches it. It's going to mean something different to everyone that watches it. I think we can yeah. agree on that. And uh, when, for me personally, meeting Natey, I <laughs> was so taken back by his talent. I was like, said it to Dion, if you don't pick him, I don't know if I can be a part of this. <laughs> so, you know, it was just lovely to be a part of this movie and create lifelong uh, friendships as well. And tell yeah. us about the music. Is Tina Turner central? Are the songs central to the whole movie or are they in and out? Absolutely. There's a, there's a bunch of Tina Turner tunes mm -hmm. that pop up all the way through. And um, her talent, you know, tells a story as well yeah. as as well as what we do on screen. But the music is a massive part of the film yeah. and the dress. And without a massive spoiler alert, how much can you tell us about the plot? <laughs> because I, <laughs> I know <laughs> stuff <laughs> happens, right? Yeah, so it starts with the character I play, Travis Clark, coming out of prison, um, he meets his partner and his daughter, and he transforms throughout the film, and part of that is down to the pretty red dress that he encounters. Right. And, uh, yeah, there's an explosion of emotion and drama that ensues. Yeah, join the dots. I, I mean, <laughs> Natey, this must be a dream well as in a role that actors would just kill for in terms of you're playing you're breaking a number one uh, different stereotypes when it comes to uh, black men uh, the black community uh, but then also just looking at black men and, and vulnerability right mm. and identity and that's something you don't often see on, on the big screen yeah no it was, a, it was an amazing opportunity for me as an actor to find a character which i couldn't ask more from um, Travis is so complex, he's so emotional, vulnerable and strong and all of those different things come out in different moments and not always in, in, in the right way. And, it, and the viewer watches this man going on a journey of finding himself and finding what the right way is to express his masculinity mm. and his femininity. And I think that's something all of us kind of struggle with, right? What's the social ideas of what you should be, mm. yeah. how a woman should be, how a man should be, but we all have to find those things yeah. internally for ourselves. And I think if you watch the film, maybe you'll find something um, in yourself that Travis finds. Mm -hmm. And it's a different sort of performance being on the big screen, isn't it? How, yeah. What sort of adjustment was that? Um, you know, it's really weird because I... I, you know, my mum always said to me, you can't be good at everything, right? And she used to say, pick one. It's out of singing, dancing and acting. And actually, she picked it for me. It was singing. And um, I've always wanted to be part of this acting world and, and, and take it really seriously. The, I actually felt very comfortable doing this movie. And it scared me a little bit how comfortable I felt because it's so different to theatre. We've both done mm. theatre. But, and I think it's down to the fact that I made such great friends with everyone that was there. And Dion is such a fantastic director that she made us feel super comfortable. So it didn't feel like we were shooting a movie sometimes. It was like, oh, this is our life. And when it ended, I was so sad. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is, this is ending. And I'm really gutted. You are so annoying, the original <laughs> triple threat. There's nothing you cannot do. Thank you very much for making me feel oh, inappropriate. <laughs> But look, we have uh, some crazy fans of yours. Oh, they wow. haven't been doing any work today. Oh, um, some of our producers have just been sitting down watching what must be really the most memorable moment for you from The X Factor. Yeah. Let's have a watch. Oh. Now I gotta Ago, fifteen you, years. You, exactly wow. you look the still. You look the same still, Alexandra. Don't worry about Bay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> but still the same. Oh. I mean, what, what was it like? What was that feeling? Honestly, I... well, I don't know if you know, but I actually found out about that duet at midnight and we rehearsed it two hours before we went live. And I, in my head, I was like, there's no way we can execute this. And quite a funny story is that she actually asked me to sing if I were a boy. And I was like, oh, I don't know that tune. <laughs> that time. And simply because I was like, I am your biggest fan, but I just don't know that one because I've been doing X Factor. And I was like, can we pick something I know? Because we only had two hours to, to get it together. But she was so professional, so lovely. And I had such a great experience and time on X Factor that I only have really fond memories of it. So to have the honour of singing with, alongside Beyonce is like... It's still a pinch me moment 15 years later because I'm I'm a massive fan of hers, mm. you well, know? Well, as I said, we've got some super fans here. Oh. Uh, uh, Anna and Angelica, they're waiting to oh, take some wow. selfies with you. <laughs> Brilliant. But I was going to say, <laughs> Nacy, Alexandra, the reviews are coming in. You've got the premiere tonight. Yes. Uh, the reviews have been outstanding. Uh, don't, need, don't need don't need this, but hey, good luck with everything. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank Fantastic. you. Thank you for having us. She said she was going to tear up watching the Beyonce clip, yeah. and she did. She did. <laughs> she made uh, Angelica and Anna very happy. She yeah. took some selfies with them afterwards. So delightful. <laughs>